Alrighty, alrighty. Let's go live. Hello and welcome to this night's edition of WCBN Sports live from Yost Ice Arena here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. I am. My name is David Kramer and I'm here with Albert Caskell, two Illinois boys happy to represent WCBN Sports and Michigan's Wolverines home opener of the 2021-2022 NCAA hockey season. Uh, we are very happy to be here tonight and uh, wish the Wolverines a, a good luck in the start of a much anticipated hockey season tonight. Albert, any thoughts going into your first hockey stream this season? I'm, uh, I'm very excited to see the obvious, the obvious uh, awesome aspect of this team, the fact that there's four top five picks on the roster arguably the most talented team in, in, in collegiate hockey history. So it's, it's really exciting to see these guys in person. See this is about. a much anticipated matchup as we get ready for the puck drop here at Center Ice at the uh, Barrington Ice Arena here at Yost. And Lake Spears State is successful in the draw. Now the puck is entering right before the neutral zone. Number six is bringing it up. It's intercepted by a Shoreditch and he enters into the offensive zone. Turnover right behind the net as the puck careams down to the middle of the ice, but Owen Power is there to secure number 22. The short defenseman Nick Blankenberg blocks a shot, and it is saved by number one Eric Portillo. It's number eight for Lake Superior State. Passes the puck right into the crease, but it's niftily fondled away by Ken Johnson. It is turned over and a point from the shot, or a shot from the point by number five. Wolverines come up with the puck, but there's a quick turnover as the puck hits a ref, and now it will be a delayed offside. Now Nick Blankenberg passes it to uh, Ken Johnson in the neutral zone. He turns around to go back into his defensive end. Power there with the puck, passes it to Blankenberg, cross ice. Blankenberg shoots up through the neutral zone, dumps the puck in into Lake Superior State's defensive zone. There seems to be a miscommunication now as Truscott comes onto the ice for the Wolverines, brings the puck back safely into his defensive zone as uh, the young Hughes passes it to Dylan Duke who turns it over and the puck Kareem's back down into the defensive zone for the Michigan Wolverines. Hughes with a nice play to Truscott. Truscott flies across the blue line. Briston now looking to shoot. He's in the, he's in the slot but he passed and Truscott wasn't able to get it. Now number 12 for or Pericelli for Trent now the shot for Lake Superior State is Boudon the big defenseman number 29 for Lake Superior passes it and a point shot is almost saved by Eric Portillo but it careens out now Duke now fighting on the near side with Borshov but Borshov still has the puck and it is dumped in again by Lake Superior State Portillo with a good block to put the puck out for his defensive partner Truscott and now it's carried away by Brisson to the senior Garrett Van Wy. Van Wy turns it over to the puck is now in the neutral zone a nice a nice hit as uh, unfortunately another turnover for the Wolverines as number 10 is hounded by Lake, Lake Superior State number 10 is hounded now the puck almost a, a shot now Moyle now has it in the defensive end and the puck is again with the Wolverines a stopper with a dump in it looks like it's going to be the game's first icing Good shift there by the Lakers. Uh, pretty sloppy from the Wolverines in the neutral zone, but the Lakers look good, and Portillo's matched everything so far, so. Looks good, looks good. Now we are working on our sound now. And the puck is going to be on the far side, the Wolverines defensive end. For those of you at home listening to your radio, imagine you're looking at the left side of your radio. Garrett Van Wyda. Defensive ball work. Oh, and a shot in the slot by Lake Superior, but it's turned over by Bork. And it goes wide. Summers now the defenseman for the Wolverines pass it to Stapa. It hits a ref, but Stapa seems to carry it again into the Lake Superior State zone. And he is hounded by one of the Lake Superior players. Number 14 for Lake Superior State, Rolson. Dumps the puck in, and Portillo's there to cover it up. And we get another whistle from the refs. For another face-off here in the Wolverines defensive end. About three and a half, about two and a half minutes down in this first home opener. Um, any thoughts so far, Albert? So, uh, it's nice to see Dylan Duke and Luke Hughes out there on the same line, same shift. The uh, the roommates, you know, they're going to have good chemistry. We'll cool see how that's going to play on the ice. Certainly, certainly. And we get a face-off won by Lake Superior and a shot from the point that gets blocked by the young Pasajov. Morgan now hounding Lake Superior in his defensive end. Another pass, Morgan misses it, but Pericelli now. Oh, good hit by the Wolverines. Owen Powell is there to clean it up, and he's there. He's hounding against the uh, 
the Lake Superior offensive players, but it, Garrett Van Wye is there to save the day, but he gets bumped into. Now Ciccolini with a huge hit in the neutral zone by Lake Superior against Ciccolini. Owen Powers there again, the excellent first round draft pick this year to slow the tempo down a bit. Now he's looking for a pass at his own blue line. Passes it to his fellow first round pick, Matty Veneers, who screams into the offensive zone carrying the puck. Dumps it to his teammate, Bren Brendan Brisson. Or Ciccolini, excuse me. Now the puck seems to be still in the, in the offensive zone for the Wolverines, looking to get their first goal of the night. Now with the pass, an excellent pass. It is a near miss. And another shot that is blocked by the Wolverines, and it is carried out by Beneers. Makes a nice play in the neutral zone to hold on to the puck. And the Wolverines look to turn again and continue their cycle. Carried in by the, the freshman, Ethan Edwards. And a nice shot there by Mackenzie Samskovich, who played for Chicago Steel in the US, uh, USHL. Now the puck is held on to by the freshman, the diminutive freshman, Ethan Edwards. And the puck goes in and is almost covered by Lake Superior's goalie, but it is kept around. He's now it's on the far side of the ice in the neutral zone. Carried by the freshman, Luke Hughes. Luke Hughes with a nice play that turns into an unfortunate turnover. And Lake Superior State comes in looking to score a goal, but we get another whistle, and that is an offsides on Lake Superior State. Interesting uh, tad bit here. This happens to be the 3,000th game in Michigan hockey history. And it's, uh, it's awesome to see how far this program has come for the Wolverines in the past couple of years, turning yes. into a NCAA powerhouse. Certainly, certainly. And we have another face-off in the far left dot in the neutral zone. Luke Hughes is there to pick up the puck, bring it behind his own net, and look for a breakout pass. Another breakout pass. It might be an icing. Let's see this is a good race, and it's not an icing. Wolverines now, the, uh, the net is empty for Lake Superior State, but the goal has gotten back. Now, uh, Brisson with a great shot, but it gets blocked by the goalie. Now Lake Superior is there to try and slow it down in their offense, in their defensive zone. They have a nice breakout now. Hindeman with a nice nifty turnaround pass and another great shot by Nixon. But it's turned aside by Portillo, the excellent Wolverines goalie. Lake Superior State now trying to cycle the puck a little bit. Nixon now, um, who's getting the two defensemen treatment from the Wolverines, and they're looking to get their first goal of the night. Lake Superior here. Now Hindman on the defense. Uh, with another point shot, it looks like a redirection, but it just goes far wide of the Michigan net. And now again, Hindman, number 20 with the puck, looking to pass, circling down now in the near side, but it seems to be potentially turnover. Wolverines actually are unable to get the puck, and the puck goes out and hits the uh, back net. So we're going to have a face-off, likely in the Wolverines' uh, defensive end yet again. Now both teams are doing a line switch. We see Duke and Brisson going off, looking to see perhaps the, the very strong, you know, highly touted uh, uh, two-way defenseman Owen Power. He's talking to his goalie Portillo. And now we're going to see another line change. We have the granowitz morgan Pasajov line, which is a good sec solid second line for the Wolverines. It's like Ciccolini is not on the ice and may be tinkering with the lines a bit. Now we have a face-off that is... Uh, one by Lake Superior State, number five for Lake Superior. It is a nice shot from the far side, and it is smothered by Portillo. There seems to be a little bit of a scrum between Morgan and Kraft. Kraft being one of the Lake Superior State's, you know, further down the line players, one might say a fourth line grinder, but a good Canadian boy nonetheless, out of North Bay, Ontario. And we're here to see another face-off in the defensive zone for the Wolverines. Kraft is tripped up on the play, but the refs do not notice, and it's and the puck is uh, now carried on and it's held by Owen Power, who's behind his own net, looking for yet again another breakout pass. Power carries the puck up through the slot and just across his own blue line with a nice pass to Pasajov, who dumps the puck in, another dump and chase, and the Wolverines are looking to get something going, but Lake Superior has been able to um, do a great job against the Wolverines in their defensive end. Kraft now with Power. Uh, Pasajov to Power, but he didn't see the pass. Morgan now behind the net with a nice pass to the slot, but no one is there to convert on it. Wow, what a great opportunity. Great setup there by the Wolverines. Yes, Blankenberg now, the diminutive defenseman with quick feet, passes the puck to Estapa from his own blue line, but it's turned over at their offensive blue line. Now Power is there to slow things down with a good pass. Blankenberg to Van Wy. Van Wy, unfortunately, it's a turnover. We might see a penalty, perhaps. 
The student section is certainly waving goodbye. Are we thinking a penalty, Albert? I believe so. I, I didn't see it, but it appears Lake Superior State players heading towards the box. Yes. Refs say two minutes for tripping. We're going to find out who's going to serve that penalty as uh, we're going into the first power play for the Wolverines of the 2021-2022 season opener. Now, that will be Nordfest. We'll be serving that penalty for Lake Superior. Now the first power play. The face-offs won by the Wolverines. Owen Power now juggling the puck on the blue line to Brisson on the near side. Top of the circle, Brisson Power over the big send sign on the middle of the blue line. Brisson now on the near circle with a shot that is unfortunately blocked by Maddie Beneers. But now Owen Power is there to hold on to the puck and try and keep this power play going. Bordelo now, the San Jose Sharks product to Power on the near side, crossing the blue line. That's going to be an offsides, but the fans are not happy with that. Excluding the uh, penalty, I'd say it's a pretty good start for Lake Superior State. Yes, I'd agree. I'd agree. Uh, doing a good job controlling the puck, slowing the game down, and uh, trying to neutralize the talent here. You know, coming into this game, the Lake Superior State has already played two, um, two official games, and this is uh, the Wolverines' first official game of the season. Puck is won again by Lake Superior State. It's carried out by Bengtson, the a, a large defenseman for Lake Superior. Portillo now with a um, quick pass. Uh, Owen Power, Brisson to Beneers, crosses the, the offensive blue line with a great coast to coast, with a great cross blue line pass to Bordelow. Bordelow hesitates, pass it to Power at the top of the blue line. Brisson with a no look pass almost to Beneers, but uh, Bordelow again at the top of the blue line looking to pass the puck again. Brisson at the near circle, he seems to be the one who's getting most of the puck time on this power play. Brisson with a nice no look pass again to Bordelow. Bordelow looks to shoot. Brisson with a goal! The first goal of the Michigan Wolverines 2021-2022 regular season. Brendan Brisson, who was on fire in last week's game. The sophomore, six feet tall from Manhattan Beach, California. The draft pick from the Las Vegas Golden Knights. That is your opening goal, your power play goal in this first game of the season. It was a great shot in the middle of the slot. A great pass from the other West Coast team prospect, Thomas Bordelow to Brendan Brisson. Great set up there by Power and Bordelow. Power controlling the power play for most of it, setting mm -hmm. the puck up, and Bordelow getting on the uh, left wing and sending that one-timer up. Certainly. And the face-off is won by Lake Superior State. I feel like I've been saying that this whole game. And now it is... Uh, miscommunication that now Grant Hindman, the extra defenseman for tonight, passes the puck to Oliver Hen Henriksen. Henriksen now to, uh, that is to Hindman again. Hindman shoots the puck up into the offensive zone into the Wolverines defensive end and the Wolverines on a nice breakout pass could be a three on two Luke Morgan on the far side with a cross ice pass to Luke Hughes that is intercepted and it is uh, turned down. Now the Wolverines still have the puck in the offensive zone, but it's turned over and picked up by uh, number eight. And the Wolverines manage to hold on. All right, we'll see Luke Hughes crossing the red line, crossing the near side blue line. The nice pass to Ciccolini, shot from the point that's kicked aside by Seth El El Elio. And now the Wolverines look to shoot up in a shot that goes just wide of the net and goes out. It's going to be interesting to see here at Lake Spear State respond to that goal. You knew the Wolverines were going to get shut out here. They have too much talent for that. Yes, yeah, sir. But it's, it's a matter of if Lake Superior State can hang in there, not, not follow up with their game plan, and understand it's just one goal, and play their hockey they were playing for about the first five minutes. Certainly, certainly. Now we're going to see a face-off one by the Lake Superior State Lakers again, this time in their defensive end. They're a feisty bunch. Looking to knock the puck out. Owen Power now in a foot race with, with uh, the Lake Superior State Josh Nixon. Now Rucha right there in, in front of the net. They almost score, but it's knocked aside by Ike Portillo. What a great save. Now Matty Veneers with Kent Johnson, the two first round picks. Johnson with a great pass to Sancevic. That is another goal, folks. Mackie Sancevic, the freshman from Connecticut. 
Wow, what a great what a great pass from Ken Johnson. A great play to set that up. Beneers, Johnson, and Samsevich. Might be saying their names a lot this season. That's, That's a high scoring bunch. What what a setup there. Almost to go on the other end. Howard did a good job clearing that out and immediately the Wolverines go the other yeah. way. Within five seconds it's two nothing. That is a textbook cross ice pass. That is a textbook breakout play by the Wolverines. They practice this all the time. And we're already back to the puck drop. Puck is won in the faceoff in the neutral zone by the Wolverines and is dumped in with a nice wrister from Jack Summers. And Kopka now to Van Wy. Van Wy looking to pass it. And it is a shot from the point that is knocked out. Shot by Ethan Edwards, the defenseman in the blue line. David, who excites you most on this team? Well, from a pure talent standpoint, I think Matty Beneers is the best player on this team. From a pure excitement standpoint, it's got to be between Ken Johnson or Brendan Brisson. Those players love to shoot. They love to you know, make creative passes, and they're just a fun crowd to watch. It's easy to see why they were drafted so highly. Buck is dumped in by Garrett Van Wyen, and now is held by Elial, the netminder for Lake Spear State. He turns it over to Nolan Moore and makes it here. Now there's a scrum on the near boards in the offensive zone for the Wolverines. Jack Summer now keeps the puck in the net. Moyle now behind the net. Moyle looking to pass. Moyle getting hounded by number 11 for Lake Superior State. Moyle with the cross ice pass to Jack Summers. Jack Summers with a wrist shot from the top of the circle that is smothered by the net minder. The 6'5 net minder, Seth Elial from Lake Elmo, Minnesota. The mistakes are starting to compound for Lake Superior State, and mm -hmm. uh, it's something you can't do against a team this talented. You no, know, it's only been 10 minutes, and we got 10 minutes and 19 seconds left in this game. It's already 2 0. This could be another high octane outing for the Michigan Wolverines. We're going to see now Bordelow gets kicked from the circle. Bordelow, Busan, and Duke are headed back, and now uh, Morgan Pasijov, the that scrappy fourth, or that scrappy second line is there to win the faceoff. Faceoff's won by Luke Morgan, kept in by Luke Hughes, one of the other Lukes on this team, but unfortunate turnover. It's made in uh, now that Wolverines are in their defensive end. Trust Scott to Passajar. Passajar behind his own net to Ciccolini. Ciccolini wasn't ready. Bourbon was there to intercept it for Lake Superior. Trust Scott now is there to get the puck back and turn it over to the, and give it back to the Wolverines, but Kraft now at the red line. The no-look pass that gets a turnover and there's a lot of turnovers in the neutral zone. Now the puck is held by Jacob Bankston. Bankston now to, to back us. And now the puck goes down to the Wolverines bench. And looks like there's going to be a face-off in the neutral zone. So a lot of things for, uh, for Mel Pearson to be happy with in these first 10 minutes. But one thing for sure he's not going to be happy with is the face-offs for the Wolverines. Yeah, they could do some work on the face-offs. You know, Lake Superior State is a team that against the Wolverines has not had you know, that much failure. Their, their records are about even. If you look at this broadcast um, notes, you know, I believe the Wolverines maybe have only 10 or 15 more wins in their combined history against this team. Um, but the Lakers, while maybe not a household name, are, are certainly a program you know, not to be underestimated despite the fact the Wolverines have had a lot of recent success against them. They, uh, they won their conference last year and earned an automatic bid against the NCAA tournament. Mm -hmm. so the program is for sure going in the right direction. Yeah, they were 19-7-3 last season. It's good enough to lose to the eventual national championship for the national champion, University of Massachusetts, in the opening round of last year's tournament. A tournament, by the way, Albert, that the Wolverines had... You know, we're expected to maybe win, but unfortunately had to leave due to a coronavirus outbreak. So, uh, something I think a lot of the players wanted to come back this year. I think if they, they played last season out, they won a national championship, some of them might have gone to the NHL or other development. That's a good point. Leagues, but this team knew they had a chance to win a national championship this year, and that's, that's something they all wanted to do together. That's a very good point. Puck is won in the faceoff by the Michigan Wolverines and carried by that captain, Nick Blankenberg. Owen Power now. Turning back into his own end, passing it to Bordelow. Bordelow to Power, to Portillo actually. Portillo with a nice pass that ends up into an unfortunate turnover to Hindeman. But Bordelow is there to make up for his goaltender's mistake and pass it back to Owen Power in his defensive end. Nice breakout pass by Power to Bordelow that is uh, intercepted by Hindeman. And Hindeman now knocks the puck into the Wolverines end, Portillo. 
looking to get a pass to the freshman Duke. Duke to Bordelow with a nice pass from his hand to the ice with a looking for an offensive opportunity. Bordelow with some tricky moves out in the near circle, but now we have a breakout from Bankston. Bankston now with a almost a really good play against um, Blankenberg. Bankston now with a shot that's knocked aside by uh, Portillo. Roy with an almost shot that was in the slot that's tipped aside by the Wolverines again and Powell with a nice uh, nutmeg pass as they say in soccer that goes between one of the Lake Superior State's players. Puck is now behind the net. Played by Owen Powell on the far side in his defensive end with a nice pass to Ken Johnson who uses his speed to get past Mins. Mins now. Um, Ethan, uh, Ethan Edwards now with a nice pass from Ken Johnson that turns into a dead play. So Puck goes out of bounds. Now it looks like you know, we might be seeing uh, another line change or perhaps, no, in fact, no, the Wolverines are going to keep that high-scoring line with uh, Beniers and Samson but yeah, Beniers with a nice individual move on the on the face-off, but unfortunately, he turns it over to Logan Juwan. To Dustin Manns, excuse me. Now Summers is injured in the corner, and the play is called that is... That might be boarding. Yes. Jack Summers is... Uh, on one knee on the ice and you know, it took a very big hit. That is certainly a boarding call in my book by the six foot three Jacob Bengston. So yeah. someone to be messed with unfortunately. So yeah, that's a hit out of frustration I think for the Lakers. Yeah. So it's starting to build up and certainly. Uh, the defense hasn't been so good so far and uh, it's, it's reasonable to be frustrated but that's stuff you can't do in these games if you want to keep it close. Certainly, certainly. Yes, yeah, so we're going to get our second power play of the night. Just for those who are tuning in now, this is WCBN Sports. My name is David Kramer. I'm happy to be alongside Albert Caskell, and we are presenting the Michigan men's ice hockey home opener of the 2021-2022 NCAA season. Well, that will be another power play in the books. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, there's eight minutes and four seconds left in this game, or in this period, excuse me. Certainly a lot more time than that, and the, the score is two to zero. We have a uh, video review, apparently, mm -hmm. for the penalty. Matt review with oh. a uh, two and ten for the Lakers. He's reminding me of an NHL game, but uh, we have a good view up here. We're not from Toronto in this broadcast. We're we're still in Ann Arbor to review the play. Looks like the ref is actually looking to see if this hit was uh, unintentional by Bankston into uh, uh, Jack Summers. And we're gonna see now. They're watching closely to see what the the ruling is. Nonetheless. Mel Pearson. Well, in fact, uh, Michigan is challenging the call. Did they not give him a power play there, or are they challenging? They, they're for, challenging uh, to get a major. Uh, wow. I have not seen that in a long time. I uh, think that's a respectable challenge. It looks like he hit so too. head right into the boards. So, this is Mel Pearson's fifth season here in Ann Arbor with the Wolverines. As uh, now, in fact, we can see that Summers is actually going through some sort of protocol behind the bench with the trainer. Yes, you would not be doing that if it were not for uh, you know, a very scary hit like that. It's good to see that he's on uh, two legs and is standing up straight. But we're going to see what this ruling is as the refs are still debating down in the box. If this is a, uh, a major for the Wolverines, that it might get ugly here early. Yes. And the crowd is quiet now as we wait for the ruling. Uh, the crowd cheers. That is a five-minute major. Well, wow. you know, I'd have to check at the NCAA rulebook, but I am pretty sure that is game over for... Jacob Bengston, the sophomore from Stockholm, Sweden, in Lake Superior State. Now the Wolverines' second power play of the night. You see Thomas Bordelow, Ken Johnson, Matty Beniers, Brendan Brisson, and Owen Power, that dangerous quintet. 
Now, for those of you are m more unfamiliar with ho who are unfamiliar with hockey, a five-minute major power play does not end. You go the whole five minutes with the man advantage. That can mean that means you can score as many or as few goals as you know, as occurs, and that power play will still rem will still remain. That man advantage. Now we see the face-off in the far circle, won by the Wolverines. Thomas Bordelot Owen power now on the blue line to Ken Johnson, the wily left wing. Back to power at the point on the blue line. Brendan Brisson in his home, the near circle, near top circle. Owen Power is looking for an opening. Brendan Brisson on the far circle, skating behind the net now. Brendan Brisson with the one-timer to Ken Johnson and it just turned away, it's turned aside with Seth Lyle. Wow, that was a great shot. Ken Johnson out of Matty Beniers. Matty Beniers now on the near side skating around. Thomas Bordelow at the top circle with a great pass to Ken Johnson. And another one-timer pass from Ken Johnson to Matty Beniers that is turned aside. Uh, pardon me, that is Brendan Busson now on power on the top, uh, top of the point looking for a shot, looking for another opening. Brendan Busson with a cross eyes pass to Thomas Bordelow. Thomas Bordelow on the left circle. O Owen Power now looking, looking for another pass to Brendan Busson and a nice tip goal. That is Ken Johnson's first goal of the season. Number 13, the sophomore from Port Moody, British Columbia. The Michigan Wolverines lead 3-0. Text, just textbook on the Wolverines. That was incredible. Beautiful setup, beautiful pass, and he put a top shot on the tip. He couldn't have uh, walked it in there and placed it any better. Certainly, I'm smiling ear to ear behind this mask. That was a great, great goal by the Michigan Wolverines. Um, that is what you practice in the uh, power play, folks. That tip pass, that is a, you know, that is a tip a pass from a tip into a shot. That was excellent. Now we see we have power play unit number two, and the Wolverines uh, lost a faceoff, but is dumped in by Eric Portillo, who holds a puck for his defensive partner, Nick Blankenberg. Blankenberg to Hughes. Hughes on the far side, passes to Ciccolini on the near boards. Ciccolini skates into the offensive zone with Samskovic. Um, Duke now holds the puck, but he's tangling with some Lake Superior State players. Duke now with Hughes and Samskovic to Blankenberg at the out the point with another pass to Ciccolini. Ciccolini now holds onto the puck as badgered by Horkfitz. Now Luke Hughes on the near circle to Blankenberg at the top of the point. Blankenberg, Samskovic. Samskovic with a shot that trickles around but is tossed aside by the netminder. Blankenberg again at the top point with the wrister that goes far as just saved by the netminder Lyle but is knocked aside. Hughes now at the top of the point. Hughes with the wrister that's knocked aside by Roy. Um, Hornquist now tangling with Duke. Duke to Samskovic. Samskovic now is at the far circle battling with Ciccolini. Holds onto the puck and that is uh, knocked aside by the LSSU defenseman and both teams get a line change. Portillo now settles the puck for Owen Power. Power play team num power play number one. Wow with a near goal. Oh my gosh what a terrible turnover by the Wolverines but it is saved by Portillo and is passed up. Oh that was a near chance they had. But now the Wolverines are no. Again, the puck is collected by Portillo, who's going to be a lot more careful this time with his defensive partner, Owen Power. They almost had an own goal. Power now skates up with a head full of steam into the offensive zone. Veneers now at the far circle looking to make an open pass. Board, board away at the far at the far blue line. Brisson now the near circle at the top of the near circle. Another great pass by Veneers into board away, but it, it's knocked aside. It trickles through the crease. Owen Power now at the top of the point looking for another pass. Brisson looking, thinking about shooting, and he fakes it, but he whiffs on it, actually. Now, power with the shot from the point, and that is smothered by the netmire with a clear view. Seth Lyle with another great save. Nice uh, to see the uh, the unselfishness of the Wolverines in the, on this power play. They're not uh, they're not taking any 50-50 shots. They're passing. They're, they'll make the extra pass and try to get that good shot for goal. Yes, that was well said. They are an, they are an unselfish uh, group of players. And now we are looking the the puck is at the near side in the offensive zone for the Wolverines and a shot right out of the faceoff. You don't see that every day by Samsevich, who's going for his first goal of the night. Now, puck is won by the Wolverines. Hughes on the near side, skating at the point, looking for a shot to a chick to Blankenberg. Another short defenseman. He's a great captain for his first season. Now the puck is passed to Samsevich, who's juggling with it now, and pass it to Blankenberg at the top at the top of the point. Luke Hughes now 
at the near circle. Blankenberg now some the nice pass to Hughes. No look pass. Hughes to Samsevich at the slot with a wrist shot that gets blocked aside. But Blankenberg is there to keep it up. There's a minute 39 seconds left in the power play. Luke Hughes at the near circle. Blankenberg at the top of the point and in the slot. Luke Hughes with a one timer that's knocked aside by uh, Mitchell Oliver of the uh, Lake Superior State Lakers. And the puck goes out of bounds, and we have a whistle. Or this, this, uh, this likely seem, feel, probably feels like the longest five minutes of all time for the Lake Superior State uh, Lakers. I imagine that it does. Now well, we're gonna have another face-off. A minute and 28 seconds left in your second power play of the match. This is a five-minute major. As we see, Thomas Bordalo wins the face-off, but no one is home. So it crosses against the blue line and one power's there to get at the neutral zone at the big block M. Ken Johnson now on the near side. Beneers tries to go into the offensive zone, but Ken Johnson's there to hold on to the puck. He uses his nice puck playing skills, but it's turned aside by a ornery Hunquist. And now Hunquist turns it all the way down to Portillo. Portillo's there to pass it to uh, Owen Power. Ken Johnson, nice pass to Bordelow. Bordelow skates through the neutral zone with a lot of speed, looking for an opportunity. Skates around. He's on the far side now at the bottom of the circle, looking for an open pass. Power now at the point, looking, thinking about a shot. Deeks out Roy with a nice wrister from the point, but it gets knocked aside by Elio. Now Bordelow. A minute or 45 seconds left in the power play. Power at the top of the point. Power looking now, thinking about a shot. Brisson, who's comfortable again in that near top circle. Uh, power again at the point. Power still skating in circles. Back to Brisson with the backhand pass. Brisson now skating all the way around the net. And a uh, near shot. Now Ken Johnson winds up to take a shot, but he passes it to Power. 24 seconds left in the power play. Back to Johnson at the top of the far circle. Now he's at the bottom of the far circle. Skates around. The nice no-look pass to uh, Matty Beniers. But Beniers now is there to keep it up. 14 seconds left in the power play. Power now to Brisson. Brisson with a nice, really strong wrister, but it's turned aside by a while in the glove hand. Now Power now. Four seconds left in the power play. He's at the block M. Skates all the way back to his blues, to his defensive end. That is the end of the power play. Three minutes left in this first period. And the Wolverines are up 3-0. Summers now, his first time on the ice since his big hit. That caused that five-minute major. Has the puck behind his own defensive end, behind his net. Skates up through, across the blue line to get it. Van Wy. Van Wy now dumps the puck into the offensive zone. Moyles there, trying to get the puck, but he can't seem to get it. Kraft now. Kraft turns it over. Moyles there, trying to look there. Van Wy with the shot, but it's turned aside by the netminder. And now the Wolverines are looking. Two minutes, 31 seconds left. That is Moyle now. Moyle to... Uh, Arata. Summers now with the shot that is knocked aside by the uh, blocker by the netminder Lyle. Now Moyle with the shot that goes just wide of the net. Now Summers is looking with the puck. He's on the boards on the near side. And, the, and Van Wy with the shot from the, the wrister that almost went in but is knocked aside by Lyle. I'm not sure he knew where that was going. Now the Wolverines will see that puck cream all the way into their defensive end. Ethan Edwards in the foot race with Puricelli. But there's another whistle as the crowd is clapping. And this will be the Lake Superior State's first power play. Michigan is now committed their first penalty. You know what that was, Albert? I actually did not see it. I hear. And Nolan Moyle in the penalty box. Lake Superior State's First power play of the game, led by Boudon, Begston, Roy, Puricelli. This will uh, prove to be the first big test for the Wolverines. And Dawson and Tritt. Let's see how they can respond. Certainly so. Boudon on the face off against Beniers. Beniers with an excellent win. Blankenberg dumps that puck all the way up and it's held on to by Lyle on the Lake Superior's own end. Bengston now. The, the one who committed the major passes that puck, so in fact he did not get kicked out of the game. Roy now on the far side at the circle looking for a pass. Bankson at the point. Bankson looking for a pass. Boudon, number 29 with a, with a nice pass that almost turns a new goal from Tripp. The Wolverines are there again. Truscott to knock that puck all the way into the, into the end of Lake Superior State. 
And we got a minute and 19 seconds left in this first period, folks. For those at home listening, the Wolverines are up 4-0 to zero and are currently on the penalty kill against Lake Superior State's Lakers. Now, Garrett Van Wyer hacking and playing at the puck, but Portillo goes into the air and makes a great glove save, not unlike those Dodgers against the St. Louis Cardinals yesterday, two days ago. Unfortunately lost. What a game that was. Yes. Playoff baseball never seems to disappoint. Yes. And so now we see a minute and seven seconds. And Owen Powers there. Knocks that puck all the way into the defensive end for Elisle, the netminder for LSSU. 24 is there. And Josh Nixon is there to carry the puck up. He's two teamed by Wolverines, but the Wolverines seem to actually go and get it. Matty Benitez, that excellent two-way center. And now we see Mitchell Oliver there, number seven, the alternate captain for the Lakers. Now passes it up to another player, but it's turned over and picked up again by the Wolverines, who only have 30 seconds left now on their penalty kill. It seems like power play no team number two is out for the Lakers. Oliver to Nixon. Nixon to Willits. Willits to Oliver again. Oliver skating at his own blue line. Makes another pass that might be an icing, but Portillo is there to get it, and it is not an icing. We see nine, eight, seven, six, five seconds left in this game. Six seconds left in that power play. And that is all for the first period, folks. The Wolverines lead 3-0 against the Lake Superior State Lakers out of Sault Ste. Marie, Northern Michigan. Um, Albert, this is only our first period of the first game of the home opener here at the University of Michigan's Yos Ice Arena. What are your thoughts on the, you know, the play of the uh, University of Michigan tonight, these Wolverines? Say one thing that uh, certainly stood out to me was the two-way play of multiple players. Like, Matty Beniers, you see he's a center, you're thinking offense. But, yeah, of course, multiple turnovers in the neutral zone and the defensive zone. Luke, uh, Owen Power, you see he's a defenseman, but filled up the stat sheet this period, had three assists. So it's, uh, the main difference with these stars is the fact that they can play on both sides of the park. Yeah, certainly. You know, we just see the, we just got the stats for that first period. We saw the face-offs one and for those who were listening earlier in the game we were noticing that the Wolverines actually were not winning that many face-offs but the end of this period it was a 10-10 10, 10, 10 face-off wins for each of the two teams and so you know going forward and the rest of this game I think you know there's some players on Lake Superior State that I've definitely noticed have had some pretty good plays or have had some important plays whether they were good or not in this game um, Albert, I know Jacob Bankston, that uh, six foot three, two hundred and two pound sophomore out of Stockholm, Sweden, was that Lake Superior State player to get that big five minute major penalty. Um, I was very impressed from their uh, their goalie in the first period. It's uh, it's a tough task to go against this team, and we didn't really concede anything easy. All three of the Wolverines' goals were well deserved. Great uh, shots that even big to Wisconsin's goal he's not going to save so he didn't cough up anything easy uh, still had I believe 18 saves in the first period so yes. he's doing a good he job had 18 saves in. wow you know, 21 shots for the Wolverines in that first period 12 for the Lakers pretty incredible you don't usually see that stat line after the first period of a, you know, a college hockey game certainly an NHL hockey game you know, 21 shots is usually the second period that we see for one team but uh you know this is a Wolverines team that has a lot of their high expectations for them this year, especially offensively. And, you know, one period in, I'd say I'm pretty content with how they played them. But this is kind of what we expected. We are uh, we're for sure rising to the expectations, and I uh, I think there's more coming too. I don't think they've they're even close to their full potential. Well, no doubt. I think they'll, they'll continue to get better as the season goes on. They'll build chemistry. The star freshman will start to feel more comfortable in the system, and the, uh, the sky's the limit for this team. Mm-hmm. Certainly. Certainly. You know, other notable players on uh, Lake Superior State, we see Arvid Henriksen, their only drafted player, is 6'5", 211-foot defenseman. 
from Sweden again. Um, drafted by the Montreal Canadiens. This is maybe a player to look out for. I haven't noticed him so far in this, in this match. Um, quite frankly, Boudin, the captain, out of, of all places, Grenoble, France. And uh, Dawson Tritt, that second line seems to be making, <laughs> um, excuse me, most of that noise for, uh, for Lake Superior State. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to think you wouldn't notice a guy like Henriksen out there, 6'5", 11 but uh, yeah, he hasn't, hasn't caught my eye yet. So uh, either there's something more coming for the Wolverines or uh, it's one of those days. You know, I tend, to, I tend to be conservative with my estimates being a Michigan uh, football fan, but yep. this is not football. Uh, I would expect at least another goal in the next period. Um, you know, not to undermine Lake Superior State, of course, but three goals in the first period is starting to remind me of last weekend's game, which was, of course, not a regular season game. It was, uh, it was a casual um, <coughs> showcase match, Wolverines against that was Bowling Green State University. That was a 7-1 to win for the Michigan Wolverines. So uh, it's appearing to be a very good time to be a Michigan sports fan. Had uh, many years of suffering, but looks like the football program's on the right track. I don't want to jinx anything for tomorrow night for them. Certainly, certainly. The basketball team is obviously heading the right direction with the number one class coming in. and uh, People might start saying Michigan's a hockey school. It might be getting to that point. Uh, I've been saying that since my freshman year, and I am a junior now. I think that this program, there were a lot of expectations, you know, a couple of years ago. But uh, Mel Pearson has done just a fantastic job with recruiting. Now, before we go on our break, before the second period, I'm going to walk with Albert. I'm going to walk the listeners through uh, you know, these notable players on the Wolverines roster. Um, you know, on the first line, three drafted and not in the late rounds drafted players. Kent Johnson, uh, I believe he was fourth or fifth overall? I believe he was fifth. Fifth overall to Columbus Blue Jackets this year. Matthew Beneers. And one of my favorite players, who was second overall this year to uh, the Seattle Kraken. He uh, makes the Wolverines the first collegiate team to have a player drafted all 32 NHL franchises with yes. the, uh, the Krakens just joining the league. Yes. And uh, that 31st player, Brendan Brisson, uh for the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, I think that was a couple years ago. They'll be joining a, uh, a great team there in Vegas. Certainly. It's a good team to be drafted to right now. Certainly. Um, you know, they, that is... That is a team that you know, certainly does not have a lack of offense but, or two-way players, but you know, in a couple years, Brisson's only a sophomore. We might see him on that roster. He certainly has the talent to play in the big leagues. So, uh, it's awesome to see these guys, uh, compared to basketball, most of the top guys, they go to school for maybe one year if they even go to college now, but mm -hmm. they go to school for one year and they're gone. It's one and done. You don't really, there's a lot left to be desired out of that. They're drafted more as well prospects, but here in hockey, you at least get to see two years out of these guys, maybe even more. Yes. It's really certainly. nice to see them develop at college and, and maximize their true potential at school. Certainly. Well, there's six minutes left until the second period. We are going to go on a break, and until then, this is a WCBN sports broadcast. My name is David. I'm here with Albert. And this is University of Michigan men's hockey. The score is 3-0 to zero against the Lake Superior State Lakers.
All right, all right, all right. Get ready for the second period of University of Michigan Wolverines hockey. The score is three to zero. And now the Wolverines hold on to the puck in their defensive end. For those that are listening at home, the Wolverines are up three to zero against Lake Superior State Lakers. And they're looking to continue that this high scoring game. Estapa now behind the net. Number 94, the freshman. Uh, it's turned over. Picked up by Van Wy, but turns it over again to Willotter. Willotter now with Lake Superior State and a nice wrist shot by uh, Lake Superior State. And now, yeah. And now the Wolverines are, you know, cycling in their defensive end. And it is uh, picked up by um, Lake Superior State. Excuse me. Nixon now. Dumps it into the uh, into the offensive end for him, but the Wolverines are there to go pick it up. Wolverines now. Thomas Bordeaux, <laughs> excuse me, on a break, passes it to Duke Truscott now to Hughes. Hughes now circling on his own defensive end to Truscott across the blue line. Truscott with a great pass to Brisson. Brisson to Duke, looking to score, but puck rolls off of his stick. <clears throat> Brisson now. It's turned over, picked up by. Jacob Bengston, the hefty Swede. Shot in at the blue line by Manns, but turned aside by Portillo. The puck now held on by Josh Nixon. Nixon now uh, to a pass into Miroslav Mucha, but it's turned aside by Portillo again, and the Wolverines are now looking for another breakout pass. And now Brisson now to two on one. Brisson and Bordelot, uh, two on two now. Now it's just even. Brisson to Edwards. Edwards with a nice shot that goes just off the netminder to Summers. Summers now to Bordelow. But Bordelow isn't there to get it behind the um, LSSU net. A puck that careens all the way around to Edwards. The, the freshman defenseman is now picked up by Boudin. Boudin, the captain, passes it to uh, Artem Borshayov. Borshayov now turns it over to Pasajov. Pasajov to Summers at the point with a nice... Uh, half slap shot but it's turned over that, in fact it is not turned over it is turned down into the offensive end for the Wolverines but now Lake Superior State has it Edwards now for the Wolverines turns it over to Boudon Boudon to Oliver Boudon now behind his own net looking for a breakout pass to Boyshov Boyshov now to uh, Rollison Rollison to Puricelli Rollison again now holding on uh, to Borshayov but Luke Morgan for the Wolverines is there to go get the puck and reclaim. Now a nice breakout pass, a breakaway. Edwards with the wrist shot. Oh, it's just knocked the side by a Lyle. What a great one-on-one -on -one opportunity. Edwards now. Edwards dumps the puck into Ciccolini. Ciccolini looking for a pass at the far side boards, almost in the corner. Now to Morgan as the Wolverines are halfway through making a change. Morgan to Blankenberg. Blankenberg now. Uh, Morgan now. Gets a puck, but Percelli on the near side blue line looking to make an offensive zone pass, but the, no one is there because there are three Michigan Wolverine players there to go get the puck. Now the puck is held by Blankenberg. Blankenberg to uh, Ken Johnson. Ken Johnson with a sweet play to cross the stick of uh, Kraft, but the ref blows a whistle, and that was, in fact, uh, it was icing there. It was icing. He passed it just before the uh, red line. Might be a pass he wants back there because uh, had a potential two-on-one looming with power. And uh, yeah, that was a great. That was a great, almost not icing. The right thinking. Yes. Now the puck is uh, now the face-off in the Wolverines defensive end on the right side of the ice as the teams have switched and it's picked up by Owen Power. And the puck has been going through him a lot tonight. Now, Samsevich, Samsevich with speed going through the, the neutral zone into the offensive end, but turns it over to Berrington. Blankenberg now. Bennington again. And an almost lacrosse style goal by Ken Johnson, or something like that. Known his, as the, uh, the Michigan. Yeah, his stick out up high. Did I see that right? Yes, it's called the Michigan. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yes, no, you're right. Here first. It was done here first. In this, in, I'm pretty sure, in, not in this arena, against. Uh, in the Minnesota Golden Gophers arena. Nice play by Ken Johnson, who is putting on an offensive clinic against Lake Superior State. Samsevich with a nice uh, fake, a toe drag, as they call it. But now Lake Superior State's on the offensive. Genuine, 
one of their players. Uh, picked up almost by Beniers, but Bengston knocks it in. And now the puck is slowed down. The game is slowed down. We got 15 minutes and 20 seconds left as the puck is crossed the blue line by the, long, the young Luke Hughes, Garrett Van Wy, knocking into LSSU and the ref. Luke Hughes holding onto the puck at the blue line, really making a great play. A pass to a stop, but that's almost blocked away by the netminder. But uh, just uh, creams over the bar. Uh, the puck is now. Well, in the defensive zone for LSSU, the Wolverines are still trying to make a play. Puck is held in by Nolan Moore with a great catch at the blue line. As now there's a scrum on the near side boards and the offensive zone for the Wolverines. Moyle now looking to make a cross crease goal. As that puck almost goes in off Garrett Van Wy, but he can't play it in with his hands, so he has to keep his stick. Luke Hughes with a great head fake, careening through. And that is another Wolverines goal. I couldn't even speak. Wow. That might be the uh, the best shift of the night for the Wolverines. The, yes. The fourth liners keeping them out there for about two minutes. The uh, Lakers aren't able to make a change, and that's what happened. Did you run us through that play, Albert? To be quite honest, there's a lot going on in front of the net. I can't tell you exactly what happened, but uh, I could tell you that the Fox was putting shots on net. And, yes. Uh, when you cough up rebounds like that, a team like this will take advantage of it. Yeah, time. that certainly looked like a, a mess of a play, um, even with a tired but hard-working Wolverines crew. The score is 4-0. to The shots are 26-15 to for the Wolverines as we get an icing against the Wolverines. So, so the puck will you know, now go back into their defensive end on the right side of the ice as this is the second period. Mr. Brightside, if those of you listening, the well-known song here in Ann Arbor, unofficial university song, often is played when you get a happy crowd that is pretty content with a high-scoring game. And just a reminder, we're only five minutes into this second period. Score is 4-0. to LSSU looking to start summon in the offensive zone for them. Nice pass, but... An even better defensive play. Portillo had to get his stick out there, make a play, dump the puck up the neutral zone. Now it's picked up by Brisson, who knocks it in, and is held by Elisle. Elisle now with Duke, and Duke, Elisle, a turnover to Duke behind his own net. Elisle, are you kidding me? The Wolverines score again. The freshman, Dylan Duke for Tampa Bay. So it's scrappy work by the fourth rounder. He's fighting for that puck, not giving up on the shift, using the speed to get yeah. right around the net, force the turnover, and wow. get a goal. Wow, okay, 5-0 to zero then, folks. 14 minutes and 3 seconds left in the second period. I am stunned, and I am sure Elisle is too, wow. You know, we're starting to think if maybe you know, Lake Superior might be <laughs> starting to think about a, a change in netminder, but there is still more than half of this game remaining. Do you know if there's a, uh, a slaughter roll in, in collegiate hockey? Uh, I'm not sure. Or a starter roll? Yes, there is. Um, whoever, you know, ends the game uh, is the one who wins or loses the game, even if they only face a shot or two, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, Roy now to Genuine. Genuine number eight with a nice pass to Bankson. Bankson with a wicked wrist shot, but it's smothered by Portillo that's caught in his pads. You know, he hasn't been very active tonight, Albert. Only 16 shots against for uh, LSSU. But, you know, Portillo, he's, he's made the most of it. He hasn't, uh, hasn't given up any generous bounces, no, no rebound goals. So, A-plus for Portillo so far. Yes. Uh, we're getting a, just a reminder or a, uh, for the stats. That was a... Garrett Van Wy actually uh, scored last night uh, or last period. So you know now we see this puck go out of bounds and perhaps an icing. It's good to uh, it's good to see the uh, third and fourth liners getting on getting in on the fun here in the second period. And uh, it's a good team effort here by the Wolverines. So. Wow. 5-0, folks. 13-15 left in this 
second period. Ken Johnson now on the near boards in the offensive zone. Johnson to Beniers. Beniers now making some sweet moves behind the net. Beniers looking for another pass. This game is not over for the Wolverines. Beniers now you know, you know, models his game a lot after Jonathan Taze, as a casual viewer might notice for those you know familiar with the NHL, certainly Chicago Blackhawks, my hometown team, although not my team. It is my team, and yes. I, I'll tell you, best best center of the 2010s. Yeah, I don't want to hear any. Uh, oh, I agree. Crosby comment. I'd agree. Well, actually, <laughs> <laughs> that might be contentious. Er, statement. Early 2010s. Well, now we see Boudin trying to carry it in. Big power forward, hulking Frenchman, passes it to Tritt. You know, the LSSU is trying to make an offensive play, but now oh, almost a breakout pass by Beniers to Estapa, but uh, just went. Just got a little bit too out of him. Luke Hughes now playing defense against Boudon. Boudon to Port Piricelli. Piricelli with an almost goal, uh, but with a, uh, an almost shot, excuse me, it just goes just wide of the net. And now we see that uh, the Wolverines are there to clean up this mess. Moyle now on the near boards. Moyle to Estapa. Estapa brings it in, but tips it in and passes it. Um, it's turned over to a Lyle. Piricelli now turns it back over to Truscott as a puck goes all the way into the Wolverines defensive end. And Luke Hughes, the highly touted first round draft pick, carries the puck up through the neutral zone to Pasajov, whose older brothers Michael and Nick went here. Now we see a breakaway shot that is smothered by Portillo. Wow! First test for Portillo and he uh, rises to the occasion. Josh Nixon on a breakaway. Makes a, nix, a nifty, oh actually, I take that back. He didn't really make any play. The puck was rolling on him a little bit. And it is uh, gloved by Portillo. 17 shots for LSSU, 27 for the Wolverines. The score is 5-2-0 here in the Yost Ice Arena. Now, the young Pasajov plays the puck up with a pass to Brendan Brisson, who feigns on a hit. And is really just, you know, getting targeted a little bit. That's going to be an offside, so we're going to see a, a neutral zone draw here at the, the far left circle, or the far left dot, face-off dot, in the neutral zone. Going back to that breakaway, you're, uh, you're not going to score many goals on a future NHL goaltender by yeah. shooting it right at him. you got to no, be more not. creative than that. No, you're not. At least put on a move there. Okay, he's a Sabres prospect, Eric Portillo. Now we see Bordelo, a name I haven't mentioned in a couple of minutes, out there with Pasajov and uh, Brendan Brisson. It seems like they might be changing the lines up. Actually, yeah, just Duke is missing. Yeah, Brisson now dumps that puck in. Pasajov there is met by Oliver, the big defenseman. And it is turned over, carried quickly by Roy, who makes a falling pass. And now a chance for Benningson, but it, he's knocked over. And this is a quick, quick game. Brisson now to Bordelo, but it's knocked away and picked up by... The sizable Genuine, who knocks into the smaller Edwards, but Edwards stands his ground. It's, it's getting a little bit chippy out here. Pasajov now looking to slow the game down, pass it to Bordelow. Bordelow and Oliver in a foot race to the red, the, 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 um, the line. Now Bankston, Bankston looking for a pass to Willowder. Willowder is not there, so Roy is there, but Roy turns it over to Owen Power for the Wolverines. Owen, or Power now at his blue line to Blankenberg. Blankenberg now skates across a big block, and across the red line, across the far side of the left blue line into the offensive zone. Puck is picked up by Luke Morgan. Morgan against Louder and Bankston pass it to Power. A two-on-one. Um, Blankenberg now at the far, at the top of the blue line, at the far blue line. Uh, tries to make a nifty play, is knocked over, um, but the refs you know, don't raise an arm. Wolverines have already had a couple power plays, and they certainly are maybe not in need of another man advantage. Granowitz standing his ground against a dominating Banks, and Granowitz to, um, to Morgan to Ciccolini. Uh, Potts, uh, Blankenberg now tries to shoot, but he gets knocked in the air. Now there's a chance for the Lake Superior State, but it is knocked away. And uh, Blankenberg tries to knock the puck out, but there's a wrist shot from the point, and that point wrist shot is, and now Blankenberg with no stick is playing defense, holding holding him up against, wow, what a great play by the small, but you know, larger than life captain, Nick Blankenberg, who helps to, uh, you know, who helped to keep that puck in and away from the uh, Lake Superior State Lakers. Now Hindeman, in his defensive end, with a poorly timed turnover as Nick Granowitz looks to get a goal with, uh, with Samsevich and Beniers on the ice. 
We see Hughes now waiting at the blue line. Hughes with the puck at the blue line as the Wolverines are making a switch. Hughes skating on the near side with a with the pass to Johnson. Johnson on the near circle with a wrist shot that is smothered by O'Hile. And it's saved as the refs blow the whistle. And we are here for a quick little media break. We'll be back in a second, folks. Uh, this is Michigan Hockey against Lake Superior State Hockey here at the Yost Ice Arena in Ann Arbor, Michigan. University of Michigan Wolverines are winning this game 5-0 against Lake Superior State. And uh, there's nine minutes and four seconds left in this second, not third period, second. The shots are 28-18. to 18. We'll be back in a couple minutes, folks. From that little timeout, apologies there. The Wolverines now have a turnover. A little bit to uh, now the Lake Spears State Lakers now have the puck and uh, it's turned over and picked up by the Wolverines. Wolverines now in the neutral zone. Garrett Van Wy to Truscott. Truscott flips it to Boudon. Boudon to Pericelli. And now Willett to Tritt. And now uh, and there was eight minutes and 33 seconds left in this second period. Wolverines are winning five to zero. And uh, looks like another penalty for Nolan Moyle, his second of the night. Slashing. So, Albert, it seems like we, we have another power play for Lake Superior State, and that is a penalty kill for the Michigan Wolverines, second of the night. Two minutes on the clock against the Wolverines. Boudon against Beniers in the Wolverines defensive zone. Puck is won by Lake Superior State. Banksy now in the near circle with a nice wrist shot that's blocked by uh, Nick Blankenberg. And now it might be a chance for a two on two. Beniers now in the near circle with a nice pass to Passage over to Power, but he it's like over the side of his stick. Now Lake Superior State could be a three on one. It's a three on two now. Roy, it's knocked over to Genuine, but Genuine can't seem to get it. The puck is kept in by Boudon. Boudon now at the near at the near blue line. Um, and Power now. Power against Roy. Roy now against Power. Power wins that puck battle on the near side. On the near side in the corner. And it is up. Uh, you know, now it's actually, there's still a scrum. Scrum and his puck is picked up by Boudon. Boudon to Perichelli. Perichelli to far blue line. Skating, looking at the circle. Now the pack to the bottom of the pass. But that is uh, collected by Owen Power and distributed into the defensive zone for the Lake Superior State Lakers. A nice breakout pass, but seems to be a... Uh, Offsides, genuine at the blue line. That was genuinely, genuinely uh, offsides. Yeah, and there's some was. great names in college hockey, folks. I, uh, from a coaching standpoint, you obviously don't want to see your team picking up any penalties, but I, I do think Mel Pearson is somewhat thankful for some penalty kill opportunities for his team to work on this in, in live game situations. Yeah, certainly, certainly. And we see a face off. Won by the Wolverines and a nifty, nifty play by Pasajov. Uh, puck is collected now by uh, Lake Superior State. Held on to by Mitchell Oliver. Oliver now. The break I pass to Willowder. Willowder is knocked over by Edwards. Portillo now behind his own net. Oh, it's kind of messy there. The puck. Uh, Portillo needs to get back in his crease. Uh, he returns now. Puck is held on by Willits. Willits now. Number six. Looking for a pass. Cross ice pass, but he can't collect. He, can, he can't connect with. Uh, 
with his other teammate. And now the Willits again, number six, another try and uh, tip goal like that second Wolverines goal is held in by Oliver. Oliver, number seven at the blue line at the point now, looking to uh, Horkfist. Horkfist, number 15, looking to make a pass. Oliver again, Oliver again, looking to make another pass, trying to score a goal to Jake Willits. Willits now eyeing a pass. Uh, Jake Summers drops a stick, but uh, pretty off, a pretty poorly targeted slap shot by Horkfist ends that little uh, offensive moment for Lake Superior as now the puck comes out the box and Nolan Moyer looks to go and get it. Yep, but the puck is actually held on to and the Wolverines have a great chance to have an offensive zone faceoff. A fantastic kill from the Wolverines. Mm -hmm. they didn't face any legitimate threat and uh, actually got some of their own chances on it. Well said, well said. They did not really face any threats in that power play. They almost had two chances for it, I think. Yeah, two chances looks like it. And now we are just double checking. And there's six minutes and 28 seconds left in the second period. The faceoff is uh, won by Lake Superior State, but it is collected by Brendan Brisson. Brisson to Truscott. Truscott with a nice shot that goes just wide at a uh, near post on the against Lake Superior. Bordelot now, Bordelot on the far side. Brisson the slot with a wrist shot that is blocked aside by the netminder a lot. Truscott now at the near circle. Another shot from the near circle. Truscott from the slot, a shot, like a shot from the slot that goes just aside. Uh, Luke Hughes now on the far blue line. The nice play against Ballard. Ballard now, Bordelot, Bordelot to Brisson. Brisson to Duke. Duke now behind the leg. It's the giant defenseman. Um, Arvid Henriksen, that Canadian's prospect. Luke Hughes manages to keep the puck in, in, the, in, the, in the offensive zone. And a nice uh, snapshot by Bordelot that is unfortunately not converted and is uh, saved by the netminder, Elisle. And there is a scrum now. What are you seeing down there, Albert? It's, uh, it's starting to get chippy here. The uh, third liners have been grinding out all night for the Wolverines, and it's... Uh, it's clearly starting to get under the uh, Lake Superior State players' skins, and here's there's going to be two penalties awarded here for this uh, skirmish on the ice. Number 19 to the box for the Wolverines and for the Lakers. I believe yeah, Kraft. Uh, we'll double check. Yeah, Brendan Brisson and Cole Kraft. Brisson for the Wolverines is uh, you know, scored that first opening goal this season. Just a, a period and a half ago, and uh, Kraft, number 18, a fourth line grinder out of North Bay, Ontario, freshman for the Lakers. This is your uh, first period of, uh, or the, your first instance of four on four hockey for the Wolverines. You know, this is a team that is skilled on all special teams, but you know they are incredibly deep, so you know, they you know, they will not struggle too hard in this four on four situation. Mans carries it in, number nine, aptly named. Uh, Lake Superior State player. Unfortunately, turns it over to Nick Blankenberg. Blankenberg to Morgan. Morgan on the near side, cross the blue line. Morgan with a nice pass to Owen Power. Owen Power looks to hit the shot, and he hits a post. Wow, and it careens out, but it stays in. Ciccolini on the far blue line. Ciccolini to Blankenberg. Blankenberg looking at the bottom of the far circle, looking, trying to make a good play. Knocks it aside from Benning, Bengstrom. Bengstrom and uh, Blankenberg chippy with each other. Ciccolini, Ciccolini on the near circle, eyeing a pass. The nice pass to Blankenberg, who is just grabbed by a Lake Superior State player, but the refs don't notice anything. Ciccolini now, eyeing an offensive move, keeps the puck in. Edwards now with a nice pass to Morgan. Morgan on the near circle with the tries to make a power move. A la Tarasenko on the St. Louis Blues, but it goes just far to far post. Luke Morgan still moves onto the puck and pass it to Power, who's at, uh, at the point now. Power at the point, looking to make a play. Power at the far circle. Morgan now helps keep the puck in, and the uh, puck is collected by Mans, who now is starting to skate the other way. Mans is bothered by Edwards, but um, it is knocked aside and knocked into the defensive end for the Wolverines by Miroslav Mucha out of Bityaka, Slovakia. Now, Ken Johnson, the sophomore, in the far circle, in the offensive zone. Johnson to Beniers. Beniers still in the far circle, battling toughly against Pericelli. He passes it to his partner, Ken Johnson. Ken Johnson now, the nice pass to Edwards, and a skill move by Edwards, who almost converts on that, but it is intercepted by Willits in the slot. What a play. Horquist now, Horquist to Boudin. Back uh, to Horquist again. Boudon Horquist trying to make a pass, but it is knocked aside, and 
played out by Veneers. Now Brisson potentially on the breakaway. Brisson is going to make a pass. Summers now with a nice pass. Brisson, uh, maybe too many passes. But Brisson keeps the puck in the, in the offensive zone. Brisson tries to tip the puck off of Veneers' stick. But Veneers is not there. But it's now held by Willits behind uh, the Lake Superior State goaltender. And there's a big hit down there. The crowd's getting loud. Kraft brings the puck into the offensive zone. The Lake Superior in the Wolverines' defensive end. And there is a scrum again. We'll see. You know, this Lake Superior State team is not happy to be in this losing situation. And we might see another return to the box, at least for one of these players. Looks like the Wolverines have committed another penalty. Two minutes interference is the arbiter's choice. The Wolverines will be back on the penalty kill. Uh, they did a good job earlier in the game. What do you think their chance is this penalty? I, uh, I think it's a pretty sure bet to say they go uh, and don't give up any goals here, but uh, the penalties are starting to grow for the Wolverines, which is, yeah. uh, they might not kill them in these games, but in circling those Big Ten matchups, Yes. In the playoffs, it will mm -hmm. come back to get you. Puck is won by the Wolverines, and now Blankenberg skating in like an offensive defenseman. Pass it to Van Wy with a nice wrister from the near circle. And it is smothered by Elio. Elio, that netminder, has seen 34 shots in this game. It is the second period, folks. Those are third period stats. Those might be... Uh more than third period stats for a normal game. Yes. It's, be a lot. it's a long day for him, but he, I think he's done a pretty good job in that. I don't think uh, that any, I guess he had one pretty big error, but besides that. Yeah, that Dylan Duke was some no one pack, but you know, otherwise he hasn't had much help from his defense. Puck is won by the uh, Lake Superior State Lakers and is carried in. Crossed by Raw. They're on the power play. Boudon, the Frenchman, brings the puck in and is uh, faced by the large Owen Power. Boudin manages to pass it to Perchel with a nice power move in this slot and he almost scores a goal. Perchel is nowhere where the puck is but now he's more settled. Now Bengstrom now to uh, Perchelli. Perchelli in the far circle. Nice pass to Boudin with a wicked wrister that's knocked aside by Portillo. No one power fans on the puck. Now Portillo is going, you know, making those critical saves. Puck is still in the defensive zone for the Wolverines. Portillo now at the top of the far circle with another pass. Passes it, looking, looking for another pass. Roy, Roy to Genuine, Genuine now to Boudin. They're looking to Boudin. Genuine now holds the puck. Is uh, bothered by Van Wy, that great defensive centerman. It bangs from now to Puricelli. Puricelli eyeing a pass in the slot, but it's tipped aside by Van Wy. He sends that puck all the way into the defensive end for the Lakers. Bankston now, 40 seconds left in the power play for the Lake Superior State Lakers. They are looking for their first goal of the night. Bankston now to Horkvist. Horkvist looking with speed. Carries across the puck across uh, the, the, the blue line into the neutral zone. Bordewell with another casual, easy uh, swipe of the puck. And again, another uh, clearing by those Wolverines. 15 seconds left now on this penalty kill for the Wolverines. A nice pass to Willits. I would say it was offside. Willits now trying to make a power move. The puck is smothered by Portillo. Sticks his legs out strong. Makes that save. These, uh, these past 10 minutes, the uh, Lakers have had much more uh, action in the offensive zone. But uh, nothing too tough with Portillo. He's still tall. And uh, he really wants to get the shot out here, it appears, at Yost. Yes. <laughs> it's certainly other than that. And the, uh, fans, the fans love that. Yeah. You now Portillo has played really well so far in this match and you know we still have about a period and, and a minute twenty left in this period and a whole nother period afterwards. But this uh it's gonna be another kill. Ooh, nice, he not coming? Yeah, nice guess, Albert. Way to go. What is uh, it gonna take for them to get a goal? A breakout pass by the Lakers to Kraft. Kraft is eyeing, but no one is there to go get it. Puck is now held behind the Wolverines net. You know, can't get lazy now. One minute left remaining in the period. Puck is held by Oliver. Oliver with a nice wrister that's tipped aside by a couple of players. Nick Granowitz now for the Wolverines at the far circle in his uh, defensive end. Granowitz to, um, to Ciccolini. Ciccolini to Hughes. Hughes with the turnover that's picked up by Power, who is a responsible defenseman. Messing with Trite. But Trite now beats Power, gets his, gets past his man, but the puck is now picked up. Could be a breakaway for Ciccolini, but no. 
out, Elio picks it up. Elio now to Nixon, a cross-eyes pass from the netminder to his teammate. This is really a goalie versus goalie duel. Portillo again picks that puck up, but we are hearing a whistle, and that could be another Wolverines penalty. Uh, potentially against uh, Ciccolini. Eric? Yes. All right, Eric, Ciccolini might be back to the box. I think they know what they're going to be working on. Uh Tomorrow's practice, or Sunday's practice. Another interference, game. yes. It, sorry to talk over you, Albert. There's another interference penalty against the Wolverines. Back-to-back -back interference penalties. Can't be taking those, especially in the first game of the season. No, you cannot. But, uh, you know, maybe you can when you can afford it more when you're playing against, uh, you know, a team that you are 5 up and O against. But you know, we're going to try and avoid those moments. Another pass. A shot by Bengstrom. Picked up by a block of the side by Portillo. Now Bordelow holds the puck on. Good, Van Wy. Van Wy backhands the puck into the offensive zone. And dumps that in and, and tries to coast to take some time off the clock. And uh, that is the end of the second period, folks. Talk a little bit and then break our second media break. Albert, I'm really impressed. You know, as am I. There's uh, a lot to be impressed about. We like to keep it positive here on the WCBN broadcast. That's hard sometimes, but certainly not with this team. Wow. You know, I was... It was a February of this year, February of 2021, when COVID was still very much had a grip on this campus. Um, the things have changed. I'm very happy to see, you know, not just uh, family members of the players, but students in the student section. I was here for... Michigan versus Wisconsin hockey game. I was doing color. And I've seen so much growth since that game. The Wolverines won. I think Ken Johnson and Power both had goals, but only Power looks so much more confident in his size and in with his skill as well. You know, Albert, I know this is your first broadcast, but I mean, what do you think? I mean, he's been really impressive for me. That's, uh, it's proof that the days of the uh, the tough, big defensive defensemen in the uh, NHL are starting to go, and they want guys more like Kale McCullough and the Avalanche, guys that could go get you goals yes. and be effective on offense, and he's done just that. And ignoring the statue, he's got three assists, but you saw in the second period of that great play, toe drag, yeah. this very nifty goal hit the crossbar. It, it shows how capable he, he He can do it on both sides of the puck. And wow, man. don't mind me, I, I wasn't even looking at the stats. What a casual three assists. Yeah. Kyle's has had. I thought he's only been playing defense tonight. It's a quiet three assists. That is quiet. Wow. You know, he, is, he has come as advertised. That was the first overall pick this year, folks, by the Buffalo Sabres. You know, a franchise that certainly needs a goaltender and a very good defenseman. Luckily, they have two here at the University of Michigan. Eric Portillo in net. Six foot six, straight out of Gothenburg, Sweden. Um, you know, his career, I believe, started last year. Yeah, he's a sophomore. He went 4-1-0 and zero with a 9-3-5 save percentage and a 1.67 goals again. Right, well, uh, he's going to get the job done. Yeah. You know, only five games, but th this, is a, this is a great team. This is a fun team to watch. I'd highly recommend our viewers at home to, you know, check out a broadcast, whether from us, if you're at WCBN, Make the trip down to Ann Arbor if you have that chance because you're not going to want to miss the greatest show on ice, the University of Michigan Wolverines. So it's not, as a lifelong Michigan fan, it's, it's nice to have big expectations for a team and for the team to actually meet them. Yes. I'm used to the days of football where, where one guy's the savior and he's not and mm -hmm. Jay Patterson's going to get us a national championship and it, it doesn't happen. But yes. I, the expectations are, are sky high for this team, but I, I can confidently say that they will get pretty nut. Well, uh, well said, Albert. Um, this is a team that, you know, they came back. They, they chose to stay another year. You know, I can guarantee you that. Um, now, I won't go as far as say guarantee, but of the, you know, that top you know, four out of five in this draft, Ken Johnson could be used on Columbus this year. Veneers, maybe. We'll see how that season for the Kraken goes. Samsovich on Florida, probably not. Um, Brisson, probably not. Luke Hughes, probably not. Owen Power, also definitely could for be sure. used. Would come in as the second best defenseman on that Buffalo team by a country mile. Um, yeah. 
But uh, you know, Albert, you know, I mean, last minute thoughts before we go on our second media break of the night. And all I have to say, if I'm if I'm the GM for these teams that drafted all of these players, I'd be very happy watching yes. these games. I sure would too. I sure would too. And uh, you know, folks, uh, we're gonna take our second media break. Uh, I'm David. I'm here with Albert. We're here at Yost Ice Arena here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The score is five to zero. The Wolverines lead against the uh, the, um, the uh, Lake Superior State University Lakers. The shots are 34 to 20 in favor of the Wolverines, and we are looking forward to seeing you after the break. All right, thank you, folks.
Welcome back to the broadcast, folks. You're tuning into Michigan Wolverines hockey uh, against the Lake Superior State University Lakers. The score is five to zero. My name is David Kramer, and I am joined by Aubrey Caskell. We are happy to be here at this incredible offensive turnout for the Wolverines. Um, you know, we have one more period left, Albert. If you're the, if you're Mark Pearson, what do you, what do, what do you think they are? You know, what do you think you said in that locker room? Those uh, Wolverines. Uh, besides uh, cutting down on the penalties, uh, there's not much more the Wolverines could be doing better. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, they should, they should probably have more than five goals. <laughs> uh, I like your attitude. Well, that five nothing is indicative of how this game's going. Or not indicative enough. It's, it's, it's been as lopsided as it gets. I, if, if the score was eight nothing right now, it wouldn't have surprised me. Yeah. Well, I like that attitude. I'm certainly they're carrying that at, that attitude too. Now, there is still 20 minutes left to score some goals. So, you know, we're gonna see. You know, the Wolverines actually, by the way, you know, a minute and 41 seconds left on their power, on their uh, penalty kill. And Nolan Moyler actually, excuse me, Eric Ciccolini is sitting in the box. So Owen Power now dumps that puck into the offensive zone for uh, the Wolverines. And, you know, good dumping. They got a minute and uh, 23 seconds left now in this power play for LSSU. And the Lakers now can't seem to get their mojo going in the last two periods. But you know, we're going to see where it's here on the near circle. The pass to uh, Nixon. Nixon to Willits. Will it sound the near circle? The wicked wrister that is uh, tipped aside by Nick Blankenberg. A great, a great tip. Yeah. And we're gonna see a change here by the Wolverines. And uh, see if the uh, see if Michigan get to get the penalty. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let's see if Michigan can get the penalty kill goal they've been working for all night. No, it is hard to speak here with these masks and uh, with so many goals coming. I don't think we yeah. can we can tell you guys fast enough. Nice win by Truscott. Uh, Benitez to Truscott. Truscott now on the far side blue line. It's looking to score a goal with the pass that goes uh, across the crease to Garrett Van Wy and he is uh, unable to uh, convert on that chance. Van Wy to Hughes. Hughes on the kill. Don't usually see him in that position, but he's definitely working on his uh, skills as uh, to become a more well-rounded defenseman. Roy to Puricelli. Puricelli to Boudon. Boudon to Puricelli again with Genuine waiting in the wings. I love these names. Um, Boudon, the captain, passes it to Roy. Roy, back to Boudon. Boudon to Bankston. Bankston to Puricelli. <laughs> Puricelli, excuse me. At the blue line, back to Bankston. Bankston uh, <laughs> encounters uh, angry Luke Morgan. And uh, we get a goal now. Unfortunately, against the Wolverines, Boudon. His first goal of the night, the first goal for the LSSU Lakers, Louis Boudin. Uh, played two games last year, had a one goal and one assist. His career stats, now 48 points. Uh, 48 points in 70 games. Before tonight, 69 games played, 14 goals and 33 assists. Now make that 15 goals. Uh, no, I think the Wolverines definitely do not want to take a single more penalty, a single penalty more no. in this game because that was preventable. I think but a nice uh, wrist shot. If anyone was going to score tonight, it was going to be him. Yeah. He's been active all night. We've been saying his name left and right. So Hey, he's their captain, too. For his sake, it's good uh, yeah. to get on the score sheet. Nice to get on the score sheet. Not so nice for Portillo. Probably going to want that one back for his teammates. Teammates certainly owed him a bit better. You know, 18 minutes left, folks. Yeah, about about that. Now, Edwards battling against uh, Bolson. Bolson and Edwards. Edwards gets that puck out and gets it to uh, Thomas Bordelot. Bordelot to Summers. Summers down on the near side and in his off in defensive zone. Passes it to Dylan Duke. Dylan Duke to Brisson. Brisson on the top of the near circle with a nice no look pass to Bordelot. Bordelot with the pass into the crease and no one's gets converted in. But uh, Blinkenberg's there to keep that puck in the offensive zone. Rollison. Rollison to Hindeman. Hindeman with a tip pass that is a. Uh, um, Turned over to Blankenberg, but Blankenberg gets that puck back and gets it to Owen Power, the big defenseman for Buffalo. Owen Power now goes through his, crosses his blue line, crosses the red line, and tries to pass it, but, uh, you know, that's not a nice thing almost, so Oliver, Oliver against, uh, you know, against the Wolverines, and a near chance by uh, Michael Pasajov. 
Ponce is driving Granowitz on the ice. And a near and a and a really nice shot by Blankenberg from the uh, from the point. Blankenberg keeps that puck in, keeps saying his name. He's developed very well. To Morgan in the corner, in the near corner. Morgan in a scrum against a big team Obakos out of Germany for the LSSU Lakers. Now Morgan trying to make a play. Almost takes a shot, but encounters Bakos who sends him back down. Puck is a uh, pass uh, now is taken into the offensive zone by the Lakers, but Michael Pasijov is there to pick it up. Pasijov gets knocked aside by uh, the Lakers. Nolan Power and Granowitz are there to you know slow things down. Uh, now Pasijov almost could have gone for it, but puck is picked up by Horfist. And what do we see here, Albert? Might be a power play. I well, believe so. And the goal scorer. Well, it's uh, it's only fitting that we're saying his name again. Yeah, Boudin, Louis Boudin. Well known now by that, you know, by this uh, five-minute mark into this uh, third period. Wolverines on the, uh, I can't even remember at this point, third or fourth power play. I believe Fifth now. this is their... Fifth. Fifth power play of the night. Incredible. Two for Incredible. four on the night. Yeah, they're two for four on the night. Thank you for that. Bordelot, Johnson, Bernier, Brisson, and uh, Powers. This is a NHL prospect line out here. These these guys are uh, they're gonna make it happen. This is power play number. Um, you know, this is the first power play unit. They're you know they've contributed a lot so far tonight, and you know, they might just contribute a little bit more. Tie up with uh, Benier. <laughs> Trying to get catch, caught by uh, Brisson. And now Portillo gets a puck as it got cleared into uh, the... Uh, Benier now in his defensive end with a nice pass that runs between the legs of the uh, Lakers player. Brisson in the near circle seems to be where he's comfortable. Bordelot with a pass that goes all the way. Now to power from the point. Brisson with the one timer that goes wide. Might have been tipped aside. But that puck stays in. And uh, it is actually knocked aside by Genuine. But that was uh, man's, not Genuine. Now Bordelot behind his own net. Going to make a long pit play. Pass it to Owen Power. Good tip pass into uh, Kent Johnson. Now Beneers is there. Beneers to Johnson. Johnson behind the net. Puck is stripped and uh, taken by Grant Hindeman. Hindeman to Roy, almost had a breakout offensive, a uh, breakout play. We could have gone on a breakaway, but Puck is now brought in by Brendan Brisson. Brisson now skating his way between the uh, Lakers players. Bordelow falls to try and keep the puck in, and now it could be a two, a three on two. Mucha with the pass that is sticked aside by Triff, or that is sticked aside by Blankenberg, who is making his presence known on all sides of the ice. You know, we have a real um, big and little here. Owen Power plays like a, you know, the big, large stature player that he is. He also has a nice offensive touch. Nick Blankenberg, the captain, for those listening at home, is 5'9", and plays with the 6'5", Owen Power. And they make a really great duo. Ciccolini now, the, the committer of two penalties early in the game, passes it down as we have about nine seconds left on this Michigan Power play. It seems like it's going to come to an end. Portillo now settles the puck right in front of his own net, passes it to Blankenberg. This power play has ended. Nice carry by the Lakers. Now Luke Hughes skates his way through the neutral zone across the blue line into an offsides. Great carry by the uh, by the Lakers there. Yes. Yeah, Started against the momentum here in the third, but uh, it appears to be for now too little, too late. Mm hmm. Just want to touch on it's great to see the uh, former freshman Big Ten Player of the Year, Hunter Dickinson. Yes, He's coming to support the team in the crowd. It's it's good to see the uh, players supporting their former players. Yeah, yeah, their fellow student athletes. Boudin almost gets stripped of the puck by the freshman Estapa, who seems to be giving him some trouble at his own blue line. It's uh, Garrett Van Wy, you know. Definitely is, uh, a stop is definitely under his tutelage is a great two-way forward. Puck is picked up by Summers. Summers tries to pass it through Dick Nixon and 
Piricello, but he's unable to do so. So the puck is picked up by Nolan Morrow, who's in a scrum with uh, Piricelli in uh, Wolverine's offensive or defensive end. Nolan Morrow right in front of his crease. Wow, that puck could have trickled in. He's hounded by Piricelli, who's not giving him an easy time in his defensive end. Summers and Nixon with Morrow waiting in the wings, ready to get that puck. Morrow now, great defensive play to a stopper. Morrow now goes through the body inside the puck as that puck is knocked into the offensive zone by Borshiov. Borshiov for the Lakers now, going off the ice, and that puck might end up being an icing. Up, oh, except it's picked up by Borkfist. Borkfist to Borshiov. Borshiov here, and the rep blows a whistle, and who knows what they could say. There have been plenty of penalties in this game. Too many men on the ice here. Um, looks like there's going to be a power play for the Wolverines. Lake Superior State. Too many men on the ice. You know, Albert, those calls happen when uh, players then um, don't have the best chemistry necessarily with their coach or start to get frustrated. Um, so, I, mean, I would be frustrated if I was down by four goals. So, uh, that's not for lack of effort. No, if they're trying to get back in this game, that's, that's for sure not the way to do it. And, uh, we got PP number two out here, power play unit number two. One by Dylan Duke. Blankenberg at the far side on the point at the blue line. Blankenberg shakes his head, makes a little play. Blankenberg now with the puck to Samsevich. Samsevich to Hughes on the near circle. Luke Hughes looking to take a shot, make a tip, but it's knocked aside. Blankenberg now on the far side to Samsevich on the far point. Uh, Samsevich now on the far circle, looking for a wrist shot maybe. Luke Hughes with the one-timer that is stifled by O'Reilly. Uh, you can tell Luke Hughes is having his first goal of the season out there. He wants to uh, get, up, get in on the phone with the Wolverines. Yeah, yeah. Right it's about that. time. He's got 12 minutes and 45 seconds left. Just like you at home do. The shots are 37 to 22 in favor of the Wolverines. And the score is also in favor of the Wolverines. 5 to 1. We are here in the third period. Minute, 38 seconds left on this Wolverines power play. Blankenberg at the Big Ten sign right behind that blue line point. Blankenberg with a one-time slap shot. Uh, knocked aside. Uh, SSU player may have uh, blocked it. And then almost goal by Samsovich. He's getting cheeky trying to square a no-look uh, um, point blank wrister. Now Blankenberg skating in with intent, looking to make a pass. Luke Hughes though makes a pass to Blankenberg. Blankenberg now um, to uh, Blankenberg at the near circle. Blankenberg at the point now looking to make a shot through the slot. And that almost goes in. And now uh, Luke Hughes keeping that puck alive. Blankenberg not letting that play um, go dead. Duke to Blankenberg. Blankenberg no look pass. Luke Hughes almost breaks his stick on that slap shot. It seems like uh, the puck is underneath the player. It's a very big hit. Now, okay, Luke Hughes at the point. The far circle looking to make a shot. What's he going to do? Pass it to Samsevich. 42 seconds left in the power play. Samsevich in the slot with the wrister. And it's kicked aside by Hiley, the goaltender for LSSU. Um, not, you know, these players are being hounded by the Wolverines. And you know what? We are going to see another four-on-four four happening. 26 seconds left in this power play for the Wolverines. That is just going to be a 4 and 4 because the Wolverines have tripped an LSSU player. LSSU has pulled their goalie. And Boudin shoots a shot at Portillo that's knocked aside. Bounce around in the crease a little bit, but Portillo makes his 22nd or 21st save of the night. I think they're going to get Ciccolini for a hook here. Yeah, Eric Ciccolini. I think his second penalty of the night, perhaps even his third. Uh, and I said before this game, I was hoping there wouldn't be too many penalties. I think I may have jinxed myself. Your, uh, your prayers were not answered. Yeah, that. Uh, you know, let's look at these stats. How many penalties have we had so far? This is our sixth, I believe. This is the Wolverine six or the six of the night? The six for the Wolverines. Wow. Yes. Uh, yes. Face-off one by Lake Spear State. Roy punished by Edwards for not making a choice. And Edwards strips him of the puck. Van Wy now. Turn over to Boudon. Boudon right into the crease into the hand of Jack Summers. Jack Summers trying to make a breakup pass to Garrett Van Wy, but 
Roy is there to strip another puck. Van Roy is in turn going to strip the puck back from Roy and knock that puck into the uh, Lakers defensive end. Eilie settles the puck, gets it back to his big defenseman, Bangston. Bangston to Roy. Roy to Boudin, but the puck is knocked out of the air and the refs blow the whistle. 10 minutes and 46 uh, seconds left in this third period of the, Wolverine, the Michigan Wolverines men's hockey game against Lake Superior State. We're here in Yost Ice Arena. I'm joined by Albert Caskell, a fellow Illinoisan. And we are very happy with how this game is played out. The score is 5-1. to one. Another face-off in the neutral zone. Won by Lake Superior State. I'm a, uh, I'm a Lake Michigan guy myself, so... Yes. Great to see Lake Superior State uh, likely go down there. <laughs> yes, I'm a fan of Lake Michigan as well. It's about time that uh, that Lake is probably done with visitors at this point of the year. It gets pretty cold now in Illinois and Chicago. Shot by Will, it's a defenseman um, for Lake Superior State. Nice, wicked, wicked strong wrister from the top of the near circle. The Portillo is there to say no thank you. And love it. His 22nd save of the night. The shots are 40 to 23, by the way. The Wolverines leading the shots department. Uh, but Eric Portillo has not had, you know, this this third period has definitely been his uh, most difficult. You know, we see uh, one minute left about in this uh, power play. 50 seconds to be exact for the Lakers. And uh, Ken Johnson now. We see him on the... Uh, Playing a two-way game. Pretty interesting. Don't often see him in that position. This uh, four-man unit is Owen Power, Nick Blankenberg, Ken Johnson, and Matty Beniers. Those are the offensive players of this team. Uh, you do not see those guys on the penalty go. Certainly not Ken Johnson. But, you know, I think this might be a moment for development for Mark Pearson. I don't know about you, Albert, but, you know, there was definitely no shortage of playing time for these uh, skilled players. It's good to see them and uh, these, you know, these more skilled players playing a two-way game. Now, it was a nice play by Blankenberg to, uh, by Beniers of Blankenberg, but it, the puck is saved by Eilie as we pass the, the less than 10-minute mark. Nine minutes, 20 seconds. Michigan is back in full strength now. Shots are 41 to 24 in favor of the Wolverines. Bengtson trying to make a nice pass in the slot and try and shoot the puck, but he's turned aside by the the very numerous Wolverines defensemen. Because now we see an icing, and so the puck will be dropped in Lake Superior State's defensive end. Nine minutes, six seconds left in this uh, third period of this hockey game. I was really buckled down. I want to give him credit where it's uh, deserved. Yes, I did. Uh, I think he's done the best he could. And this is uh, a relentless Michigan attack that it's going to get their goals, but. Do you expect um, to see anything the rest of this game? I think Michigan will go one to two more on the score sheet. I mean, they've, they've had good chances throughout. I think it's only a matter of time until we find the back of the net again. Well, I'd agree. All right, now we see the Wolverines in the offensive zone. Might even get that goal you're talking about, Albert. Wolverines almost get another great scoring chance. Uh, all thanks to Luke Hughes. <coughs> Excuse me. We see another icing against the Lakers. 8 minutes, 46, uh, 40 seconds, folks. 43 to 24 of the shots. Wolverines leading that department. Uh, if you're just joining us, uh, this is a WCBN Sports uh, home opener broadcast here at Yost Ice Arena, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. For, uh, for Michigan's sake, you you have this game won, but you don't want to let Lake Spear State gain momentum going into tomorrow's game. Oh, yes. They have a rematch. So well said. It's important to close this one out. Keep the 5-1 lead at, at least. And, I'd uh, agree. Get them frustrated. Don't let them build on anything going into yeah. tomorrow's game. Yes. No, they, they will come frustrated no matter what tomorrow. I certainly would. That's why we have these great two-game series. Um, you know, I think it also gives you a better chance to see you know, what the other, you know, perhaps uh, not less skilled, but those players that are afforded less playing time throughout the season, what they can do. You know, looking forward to tomorrow's game. You know, the Wolverines... I have two other goalies waiting in the wings. Uh, Noah West, a sophomore, whose career at Michigan, well, in fact, not at Michigan, the NCAA, is with Robert Morris. Um, and Michigan fans love Robert Morris after their, uh, their upset. Oh, no, I'm, I'm mistaking it for another team, but go on. Uh, 
nonetheless not, not a problem. Um, but it, we are fans of Robert Morris, if no less went to Robert Morris. Um, and it seems like he's pretty good there. 9.15 save percentage, 2.66 goals against average. Not bad for a, a sophomore, 6 foot 2. Um, and now you know, we see, you know, I, you know, I'm sure that uh, Lake Superior will not be playing Eiley tomorrow. He's going to want to get some rest. I would be tired if I were, you know, not getting bailed out by my defense. Um, but, you know, 8 minutes, 23 seconds left. The crowd is very happy to be here. This is a great hockey game tonight. Bordelow, Thomas Bordelow. He's going to be taking a face-off with uh, Passageov and Brisson on his line. Puck is collected by Lake Superior State and is uh, picked up by Bunnington. Bunnington now passes it up to Tritt. Tritt to Summers. It's a turnover. Edwards from Summers to Bordelow. Bordelow crosses the blue line with intent with a nice wrister that is smothered by Ali. Nothing's coming easy here for the Wolverines in the, uh, the third period. Yes, uh, I wouldn't take those five goals for granted. Um, they buckle down, you know, as you said earlier. Wolverines are probably pretty tired too. Um, you know, this has been a long game for both teams. I have to look at the stat sheet again to figure out how many of those penalties have been committed. It's 11 total. 11. Wow. It's like a high school game. Certainly. Almost a goal from the Wolverines. Blankenberg with a fantastic power move. Wow, to try and cut on the inside. You see that puck get collected by a student who is celebrating. Great catch. Uh, never mind, I think it was uh, deflected. Yes. Great save there. Yeah. The puck basically on the goal line. He's in the, the top of the stick to knock it out. Yes, great save. Van Wy now and Moyle. Van Wy on the faceoff. Wolverines win that faceoff. Wrist shot by Power. And that is a, uh, a Wolverines goal. Fitting for. So you see, is that Power? It is Power. It trickled in. Well deserved for him. Not the uh, uh, four points now, right? Yeah. His first game as a sophomore. Holy cow. Uh, might, they might give it to a stop on the tip. Okay. Nonetheless, Nonetheless it's, it's an, an assist. assist. Yeah. yeah. Four points no matter what for Owen Power. He's got Holy it. jumping. That's something you can't take for granted. Four, four points from a defenseman. You don't see that very often. Regardless of who you're playing. Yes. Well, those St. Louis fans, there's some Nelly being played. I want to say uh, a stop I didn't, didn't get a hand on that. They might give that to uh, Power. Oh, they see what the announcer power. said with our stats. Our friends at the stats department he say over power. 22 Owen Power. Assists from uh, Nolan Morrill and Garrett Van Wy. Well deserved for Power. Uh, it's been his night. Wow, it, sure, it certainly has. <laughs> Maybe they'll throw in another goal just to make it 7-1 like last weekend's yeah. game. Uh, 7 minutes 41 seconds left, folks. Not that much hockey left. That looked like offsides to me, but a stop that carries it in and is uh, hit. And it's a big hit, and that is a big and unnecessary penalty taken by Lake Superior State's Brandon Puricello. You would think the uh, spell would start to trickle out with a score like this, but now the, the children of Yost, or the, what is it, is it the, the children of Yost, right? Yep, they children of Yost. They're still here, it's still fun, <laughs> totally. it's still loud. Yes, we see, uh, we see some of the, uh, you know, the older attendees trickling out, but the children remain to uh, remind the goalie that they maybe could have made one or two more saves as they do. Um, Wolverine's up. Not, not the most welcoming student section, no. that's for sure. But 46 shots now. Good to have them on our side. Owen Power. Puck handling. Passes the puck to uh, Ken Johnson. Power again at the top of the first circle to Johnson, who's behind the crease, behind the net. Johnson to Bertolo. Bertolo to Power, but it triggers Suze. He jumps up over the stick. Power now for a nice crisp wrist shot to Beneers. Beneers to uh, Ken Johnson. Ken Johnson counters some uh, 
puck just barely trickled over the uh, the blue line, so that's going to be an offsides. Uh, one minute, 28 seconds left in this uh, power play for the Wolverines. We are really losing count up here in the press box. As seven minutes and one seconds left, and one second left remaining in this hockey game as well. The score is 6-1. to one. The shots, if anyone wants to guess, it's over 30. It's over 35. It is over 40. It is 46 shots for the Wolverines, and they're still in the power play left, so, you know, might see them hit 50. Feels like a uh, Big 12 football game. So not, not a lot of defense and a lot of offense. Yeah, certainly. Well said. All right, Brisson on the near post in the near circle. Tries to make a little backhand play. You know, we like to see those spin moves, especially from these high offense, incredibly talented players. They like to get fancy, especially when they're up this high. But... You know, this is, uh, these are moves that they can make. They are that good. Matty Beneers now, the near circle. Skating around, trimming. At the point now, to Power again, who has played a lot this game. Power now at the point. On the top of, uh, just above the, le the far, the far circle. Ken Johnson, Bordelow. Bordelow looking to make a pass. Uh, barely whiffed on by Brisson. Brisson now at the point. Takes a slap shot. It hits the post and goes off. What a great shot. And that puck goes out and into, and into the uh, zone where uh, a young fan collects that puck. Nice catch. Uh, Br Brisson's shot. I think that was a... Uh, Tipped by Bordelow. I think it was intentionally a slap shot pass to him. Going for the uh, middle of that goal. Imagine being that good. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, everyone on this team is playing that in any yeah. level. It's, it's easy yeah. to take it for granted that it's spectator. But no doubt. No doubt. Luke Hughes now. Skating around. Uh, a whistle is blown. Let's see what the call is. Chickalini's third penalty of the night. Another interference call. Man, this guy can't catch a break. No. It seems at least. It's not as night and by now you think the referees just want to go home. But yeah. They're running a tight ship here at Yost. Yes. <laughs> at least they're not paying for ice time. <laughs> I hope not. And they're not paid enough for that. So this is a 4-on-4. Four four, uh, potentially for 17 seconds. Uh, at least that's how much time is left in uh, that, uh, out, that Lakers uh, penalty. 12 seconds or 17 seconds left. Uh, 5 minutes 50 seconds left in this hockey game. Lakers win that, win that face off. Gloved by Portillo. But put down and pass to Luke Hughes. Hughes to Van Wy. Van Wy across the red line. Van Wy to Moore. Moore across the blue line. Moore with a nice toe drag. Kareem's round goes left of the net. Luke Hughes now. Apparently, that's an offsides. I would disagree. But that's why I'm not roughing down there. So, seems like we're going to get a, a face-off in the, the far dot in the neutral zone. Five and a half minutes left in this game. Uh, minute 42 left in the power play for the Lakers. The score is 6-1. to one. Face off one by the Wolverines. Trescott dumps that puck into the offensive zone and it is picked up and held by Bengstrom. Bengstrom with the head fake trying to get past Van Wy. Outlet pass to Percelli. Genuine from Percelli. Percelli now. Battle on the boards with Trescott. Genuine, Percelli, and Roy. Seems to be their offensive uh, cohort. Boudon, the goal scorer, the lone goal scorer to Bengstrom. Bengstrom with the slap shot hits his own player. Now Boudon to Bankson. Bankson at the blue line point. Boudon in the far circle. A nice pass to Porcelli. Porcelli wasn't ready for it there. Porcelli now to Roy. Roy to Bankson. And Bankson to Boudon. Boudon in the far near circle right in the dot. Covered very well by Truscott and Moyle. Moyle now is not giving uh, Boudon a good, an easy time. Now this play gets broken down, but Pirichelli in the near circle looking to make a pass to Bankstrom or across his genuine stick. Excuse me to Boudon. Um, genuine now shot from the slot that goes up and hits the net as he gets tipped by one or two sticks. He got 38 seconds left in this uh, penalty kill for the Wolverines. Uh, four minutes and 28 seconds left in this uh, hockey game.
good, good power play so far for Lake Superior State. No, no goal to show for it, but some good looks, good activity, good passes. Um, from coast to coast, and uh, yeah, I, I think they're carrying some momentum into tomorrow's game versus if you, if you call this after two periods, certainly be for sure to see a similar result Nice, tomorrow. nice dump by Owen Power. Wow, he has been everywhere tonight. Like seriously, he has been everywhere. As you'd expect. Yeah. He's he's a, he's as advertised. No doubt. Yeah, he's fun to watch. Um, Ucha now. Ucha and Morgan intersect. Willis with a, another shot from the slot that's tipped aside. Four minutes left in this hockey game. What are your predictions for uh, tomorrow, Matt? Tonight. Tomorrow night's football match in uh, Nebraska. One more time. What are your predictions for tomorrow night's football game? Oh, Nebraska. Well. I'm no betting man, but you know, I'd say a lot like this Wolverines hockey team, the Wolverines football team will be carrying some momentum off of their past couple of games, especially Wisconsin. Wow, that was a fun game to watch. Yeah, I was luck lucky enough to make the trip down there as a fan, and uh, oh, nice. That was a. Uh, you were rewarded for your travels. Yes. I went there three years ago, and it not not the opposite result. Yeah. So it's good to see Harbaugh get his first no. underdog win. Yeah, yeah, that was that was good. That was a good one. Big hit by Blankenberg on the German Bakos. Samsovich with a really ugly hit against him by our LSSU Lakers. We got three minutes and ten seconds left in this game. The puck is in the offensive zone for the Wolverines, and it is taken out by Jacob uh, Norquist. Excuse me, Arvid Henriksen, that Canadian's prospect we were talking about earlier in the in the broadcast. Summers now, great defensive play to Samsevich. Samsevich, Johnson waiting in the wings. Johnson takes a nice wrister that just goes uh, over the bar. Johnson again, ready near circle, or in the, the near blue line, excuse me, kept in by Summers. But again, picked up by Summers in his defensive end this time. Edwards. Edwards makes a quick skill move to get past Manns, and it's unfortunate it's turned over, picked up by, uh, by uh, Manns, coming the other way. Manns to Wildauer. Wildauer gets tied up. Puck that's picked up by Johnson to Edwards now. Edwards to Power. You know, folks, we're going to give you that time on ice at the nearing the end of the broadcast of Owen Power's time on ice, but he has been everywhere tonight. I cannot understate that enough. You know, Owen Power, without a doubt, the right choice for first overall. Honestly, any of these players would be you know, a great choice to start a franchise, but a lot of teams like to start with a really skilled defenseman as we go into the uh, under two minute mark, minute and 40 seconds left. Another offensive opportunity for the Wolverines as this game's beginning to slow down a bit. As both teams certainly are feeling the effects of their first, uh, or at least the Wolverines seem to be facing the effects of their first game of the season. Um, and we're looking at now would be about a minute 20 left. Puck is in the Wolverines defensive end. No fist. The shot goes through the crease. Collected by Wurtz at the new blue line. Percelli looks at it, lets it cross through. Picked up by Truscott. Now Mucha They're trying to get a goal. Board to low. One minute left in this hockey game. Shots are 46 to 25 in favor of the Wolverines. The score is 6 to 1. This is the Wolverines' first game of the season, or first start. You know, this is their home opener, and without a doubt, they have been an excellent, excellent bunch. So, you know, we have 35 seconds left in this hockey game. Albert, what are you thinking? Uh, I'd say it's a heck of a show from the Wolverines. I don't think the Lakers play bad by any means. I just think the there's a, there's a clear talent gap. There's a clear coaching gap. There's uh, and the Davis outclassed out here. Nolan Moore on a breakaway, denied by Ali. That would have been that would have been falling off. Yep, that would have been frustrating. 
for the Lakers. This is going to look like the end of the hockey game. Genuine with Luke Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, all my friends on this broadcast show, to all friends of the university, to everybody listening, no matter who you are, we are very happy to have you here. The Wolverines have won their first, you know, their home opener here against Lake Superior State here in Yost Ice Arena, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. I'd like to thank you so much for listening and for coming out tonight, spending your, t your evening with us. This was a great hockey game. Final score is 6-1. to one. Shots were 47-25 to 25 in favor of the University of Michigan Wolverines. We're going to get off this broadcast shortly, but we're going to look at this uh, playing time. You know, you know, the most playing time. We're going to try and find these stats. I'm not sure if our uh, tools are going to be able to help us with that. But no matter what, I promise you, Owen Power played probably over 20 minutes. Um, but regardless, you know, this was a great match. Albert's looking now for these playing times. It's okay, we might not find them. Yeah. Albert, I think maybe we'll save that yeah. for tomorrow's broadcast. Someone can share you know, with tomorrow's audience. What are you thinking? I think the uh, Wolverines should be proud of how they played. Me I too. Think there's, uh, the main issue for tonight's game was penalties. I think mm -hmm. that's some, they for sure have something to work on. Yep. But, uh, Discipline. It's always important. I'd say that's what these matchups are for. You're, uh, you're not scheduling these games out of uh, fear for a loss. You're scheduling them for tune-up games for the Big, mm -hmm. the big Ten season, the postseason. Well said. And uh, these are the games you gotta, you got to have to build on your... Uh, no doubt about it. Work on your successes it. and work on your, work on your mistakes. No doubt about it. Well, you know, that's all for us, folks. Thanks again for coming out and spending your evening with us. This was a great win by the University of Michigan men's ice hockey team. And we're very happy to have you all here. Um, from us at WCBN, my name's David Kramer. I'm Albert. Have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. Stay dry, it's raining here in Ann Arbor, and go blue.